little tour of Clearwater Beach area. We're leaving Clearwater Beach. We're getting ready to go over the famous Skyway Bridge. The Skyway Bridge is famous for taking, you know, picnics, taking a walk on the beach. Um, but certainly, I wouldn't recommend swimming in it because there is a sewage plant. Uh-huh, on the, on the, on the west, east way, on the west end. So here we go. This is the beginning of the um, Skyway Bridge. To the left is the uh, Clearwater Christian College is right behind that sign. A lot of people bring their jet skis here to drive on beach, one of the few of them that I'm aware of in Florida. Um, this one in Daytona Beach is pretty much the only beach that I know you can pull your car up. Um, people pull their jet skis in there and they go jet skiing. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the history. The history of this pier was developed um, years ago. However, when in the 1970s a tornado came and wiped it out. You can see all the extra rocks inside. So they rebuilt it. Um, years ago it used to be a wooden bridge back in the early 1920s and that was the main bridge from Tampa to Clearwater. And it was a dirt bridge and then they turned it into this road uh, which was maintained and redone in the 1970s and they put all these rocks up here to um, hold it up. You can, Lots of times you can see um, yeah, you can see dolphin and things sometimes, so it's kind of fun. When I was younger, I was a swimsuit model, and I came here and I did a Scout and Hovercraft ad that was filmed here. Also, when I was a teenager, we were trying to learn how to parasail with an um, old parachute, and I landed in the rocks. Um, I was pulling the boat, my boyfriend landed in the rocks here and broke his feet. We had to take him to the hospital. That wasn't good. Good thing I didn't marry that idiot. Anyway, um... Now we're going to have a little bridge. I've been here before. I remember we went fishing here one time and caught, we caught a, um, like a little gathering of mussels, believe it or not. And we were dumb enough, we ate them. I took them home and ate them. But there's the other bridge that you can see on my video if you look. That's the Howard Franklin Bridge on the other side. That, that one I was on uh, in a previous video. And then it's a beautiful bike trail here on the right. Um, some of the hotels that if, I, if you were to visit the area, this is about 20 minutes from Clearwater Beach without all the crazy traffic and tourists. It's kind of a secret getaway. There's some really fine dining up here in the center area um, between Tampa. It's kind of a little island that I'm gonna show you in a second, but um, here's the causeway. A lot of crazy accidents here. Um, I recall one time when I was little, really bad accident. The girl actually got decapitated here. So you gotta watch how you're driving. I do, I drive careful. I can do two things at once. And um, look at that, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. When I was little, this is where we used to come crabbing. Like there's little places like that where you can set your net up. My parents don't know how to crab and fish, so what we would do is we do the Maryland style. We put a light over the edge um, with a basket, a string with chicken right here, like this. And we'd scoop them up. We'd have like four dozen and didn't even get wet. My daddy used to take us here. My first fish I ever caught was here on this bridge. It was an angel fish. I think I was about eight years old. So here's the beautiful Clearwater Beach. And when the planes come in to land in Tampa International Airport, they usually go around. You do have there on the right, um, between the bridges is the MacDill Air Force Base, the famous MacDill Air Force Base. And then the um, hotel that Steinbrenner from the New York Yankees, he actually owned the hotel that's at the end of the road here at the Radisson Bay Harbor. So um, when I worked for the airlines, Northwest Airlines used to put us up there. And it was nice, you know, it was crazy. We had some flight attendants get drunk, steal the golf cart and wreck it. But other than that, it was a really nice hotel. Uh, when my little nephew Bradley was born, that's where they brought him. That was the first time I ever met Bradley was in that hotel and I cried because I was living in Detroit and I had a Tampa layover. So my family brought my little nephew Bradley to see me and I fell in love with him, right? In that hotel, Radisson Bay Harbor, owned by Steinbrenner. I actually met him, Steinbrenner, in the in the parking lot. He was driving a Rolls Royce. I was like, hey, nice car. My sister was with me. You know, he gave me his number. I didn't even know who he was, but whatever. That was back in the day. I don't know much about baseball, too much. Anyway, um, here is another little parking structure you can pull off on to go fishing. Um, on the right, I believe that's the old, I don't know what that is. Actually, what is that? I don't know what that is, folks. 
I think that's new. I've never seen that before. So I don't get out much, but when I do, what is that? They made a fishing pier? That is so cool. Oh, see? I'm learning something. Um, hold on. My phone's trying to die. Anyway, that's cool. Look at that. Wow. New fishing pier. I got to see what that does. What is that thing? Wow, that's crazy. They built that pier just for people to jog on. That's so nice. So anyway, now we're headed into Hillsborough County. We've just left, left Pinellas County. Um, yep, wow, that's pretty neat. I kind of think that's kind of neat. I didn't see that before. Tampa's like that. Stuff's always growing here. Always. Before you know it, man, it's like, what? What's that new building? It's been like that my whole life. It changes quickly. So, uh, again, this is where people drive. Usually they'll go fishing from here and stuff like that. And then there's a little picnic area up here on the right that has little um, covered picnic benches. I personally would bring a hammock, tie them to the trees there, and chill within the shade. But there's a picnic area. And then there's little uh, bathrooms up here on the right-hand side that you can, um, the Courtney Campbell Park, where you can take a shower and there's bathrooms and um, that's a really cool, um, I can't remember the name of anything, but it's a restaurant up here that sells amazing food. Hulk Hogan also owns the restaurant down here. If you're into WWF things, um, his restaurant is down at the end here. It's actually in the Radisson Bay Harbor, which is owned by Mr. Steinbrenner. So Mr. Steinbrenner and Hulk Hogan are friends, just letting you know. So here we're approaching I want to show you these beaches. Another little teeny island that used to be the best uh, brunches. They turn it into a party. I think it's Bahama Breeze there now. They turn it into a party place. Uh, so I don't go to those places too often. But when I was younger, I did. And this bridge is a little bit longer than I thought it was. I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Here we go. So there's all the hotels and things. One time I remember, I, I looked out there and there was a boat banging against the wall at the Radisson Bay Harbor. I went and looked, it was one of the buccaneers got drunk and left his boat out. And uh, whatever, I just thought someone had died, but he didn't. He just got off the boat and left it. Must be nice. So uh, I have no idea what they're building here. They're always doing something. Good Lord, looks like it's getting, getting serious over here. Look at the cranes. No clue. I have no idea whether maybe they're building another fishing pier. So, some really good clamming here. A lot of people don't know about that. I do. This is where you go uh, get your crabs and your clams. You can go clamming here on the other side. This side you go clamming, this side you go get your blue crabs. There's a big seawall around this island that we're getting ready to come up to. Um, this is the park I was telling you about. It's a disgusting beach. I would never go to this beach. It's dirty and it's gross. It's like people leave cigarettes and shit. They don't clean it. It's disgusting. Don't go. Take the time to go to Clearwater Beach. But this is good if you're going to bring a brunch or lunch or something like that and have a picnic and then pack it up and go. I certainly wouldn't hang out here with all these people driving by looking at you half naked. But here's, um, and that little restaurant there is pretty cool. It's um, a hot spot to go visit. It's Ben T. Davis Beach. That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say, y'all. So there's a restaurant right here. Let's see if I was right. I called it Bahama Breeze. Let me see what it is. This is an awesome, awesome restaurant. They serve liquor and everything right on the beach, if you want to call it a beach. I can't. Whiskey Joe's. That's what that is. Right there. So the people go there on that beach at Whiskey Joe's. They serve you liquor. And this is what Hulk Hogan owns. Um, live bands. That's where I like to go. Radisson when I party, that's where I party. And that's the hotel we stayed at. Um, that Steinbrenner owns, if you can see it. It was the Radisson Bay Harbor. Now it's Godfrey Hotel and Cabana. So I couldn't tell you who owns it, but look. Look where everybody's going. They're going to go party at Hulk Hogan's place. There you go. Hope that was fun. Bye.